What's up guys, it's RoboFreak here. Today I'm going to show you the SparkFun Stepper Motor. I just got it uh, two days ago, and it's quite a nice little motor. Now, I just figured out, or I just perfected the um, control code that allows complete control over the um, shaft down to, the, down to a single micro step from the Arduino. So let's look at the hardware. First off, the motor is being powered by a 14.4 volt drill battery. The motor is connected to an Easy Driver version 3. Now, the only drawback with this driver is that it gets really hot and you can't turn off the current. I heard on the forum and I found the post that um, the version 4 has been developed but I'm not sure if SparkFun's taken up the uh, design yet. But on the version 4, the pins will be broken out so that you can access the sleep pins and uh, the reset pins and also the pins to cut off current to the motor, which is very good because when you can cut off current to the motor, you can have it sit here but not waste electricity. Right now, it's probably drawing 750 milliamps just to keep that motor staying where it is but it's not under any stress so if I just turned off the current it could sit there like this and then I could juice it up when I want to move it which is what I want to be able to do but the version 3 doesn't allow that so I don't know I just I'm waiting for the version 4 controlling the easy driver is the Arduino and Decimella it's the older one running the AT Mega 168 and that's pretty much the hardware part. Uh, if you haven't noticed, the little spark fun box. Other people are using flags, little pieces of tape on the uh, motor, but I went with the spark fun box. It looks a little cooler. So, on the computer side, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's just a small program that I wrote. It allows, it has a drop down menu and you can go forward or backward for direction there's a button and this when you click this button it'll send the value to the motor and the Arduino will uh, well it'll, it'll send the value to the Arduino and then the Arduino will do whatever it's got to do to power the easy driver or make the easy driver work so I've got the little directions down here. The maximum micro step value that you can put in this box up here is 65,535. That is because if you go any higher, the integer value that stores the final value to be used on the Arduino will be overloaded and you'll start getting errors. And then 69 or micro steps is one revolution. That's pretty basic. So let's test it out. I'm going to go exactly 3,200 mic or 3,200 micro steps forward. Now I'm going to do 3,200 backward. I'm going to do forward. And I can just keep playing with it. It's really fun to control it from the computer. And on my code, the awesome thing is that not only do you get like full revolutions but I get the control down to a micro step so you might be able to see this but I'm going to go nine micro steps it's kinda hard to see but I'm gonna go nine micro steps forward and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go nine micro steps back I'm going to keep continue doing that. And as you can see, the box has started to rotate. Now, since I'm very close to 10 uh, micro steps, if I click the mouse about 160 times, that box will completely rotate. But I can also go down to one micro step. Now, Watch very carefully because this box is going to move pretty slowly. Here it goes. 
There it goes. It's moving real slow. But one micro step at a time will do that to the motor. Before I had this other really weird program going where I would send serial data like 1600 times a second. Or, no, it was the program would wait for serial data and it would do one micro step and I was sending serial data to do it. And it was just a real pain because the motor was vibrating like crazy. So I went with this approach and it works pretty good. Now, on the Arduino code side, I don't think this has been done before with this motor. I could be wrong, but I did solve a problem. If you've seen my Arduino Bluetooth uh, tank thing, uh, well, I solved that problem of only having one speed on the servo in this project, which kind of takes me off because I had taken the robot apart. But I can go view the code on this and really all this does is gets you know the values to be used right here and ask you and then it just outputs it on serial but this isn't where all the magic happens the magic is on the Arduino now I'm gonna post this code online uh, for you guys to use and uh, look at but the way it works is it gets serial and then it reads the first bit and this is pretty interesting but the serial data has to be formatted and that's why I had to write my own program not that you couldn't do this yourself but the program does it for you seamlessly so you don't even notice it's going on in the background but this first digit is the number of characters in your value and the value is right here 32,000 that would be for 32,000 micro steps which is about 20 revolutions and the second value is the direction. It's either a 1 or a 2. So the first value, you have to figure out how many characters are in the actual value that you're trying to send. And then you put that there, and then you find out the direction, 1 or 2. You put that there, and then you put the value, and then you send it. And the VEX will be able to understand it. But you've got to see the code. I'm not going to go into details because the video will go way over 10 minutes if I try to explain this. And you guys will get really lost so that's the end of that and now I'm just going to show you how high I can go I'm going to go and do 65,535 micro steps right now I'm going to do it forward 65, 95, here we go Alright, that's uh, the maximum amount that you can do in one. Now I'm going to show you the stepper motor up close. I haven't seen any real up close pictures of it. In the back, it's all metal, which is really nice. But in the back, you've got your connector. You have four screws. I might do a video of taking the motor apart, but you've got the basic. Uh, four screws in the back. That's the uh, shaft. You can kind of see it rotating. Um, the side, it's pretty bland. But in the front, you can see uh, the shaft and then kind of inside. But it's a very sturdy motor. This actually feels very nice. I would say that this is probably worth more than $15. But Sparkfun gets them in bulk, so that's probably why. Alright. There'll be more videos to come. All right, uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like it, send me a friend request.